Hi guys, welcome once again to La Perry College of Fashion YouTube Sewing Channel. In today's video, we shall be learning the guidelines to achieving contouring when you have a single seam line. To contour our baby body's pattern, we need seam line to pass through this apex onto the under bust line down to the waist line. This same line can come from anywhere from the armhole or from the shoulder, from the neck point, or even from the center front line this way, and likewise from the side seam line. This seam line could be single, and sometimes you can have multiples of seam line in the process of contouring. So for today, we are learning the guidelines to contouring when you have just a single seam line. There's already a background knowledge to this video where we talked about gaping and contouring. In that video, we try to understand what is gaping and what is contouring and the need for contouring. So I'll be putting the link in the description box below for you to watch and have that background knowledge. It was in that video, I actually made this of this pattern for all of those explanations. I want to appreciate everyone who has subscribed and for those lovely comments. I'm so happy that you guys you are learning on this platform. If you are new to this channel, a big welcome to you. This is La Perry College of Fashion YouTube sewing channel and on this channel we upload detailed sewing tutorials weekly. I love you to be part of this family. Go ahead and hit that subscription button now and also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we upload detailed sewing tutorial. Back to the main topic for today, which is the 10 guidelines to achieving contouring when you just have a single same line. Having successfully transferred our basic bodice pattern out this way from the original pattern, the first step to contouring is you need two more body measurement parameters which are the under bust measurement and the run under bust measurement for this particular pattern that i'm working with the under bust line from the shoulder is 14 inches while the run under bust measurement is 31 that is the first step to get those measurement parameters available the step two is to align the back piece and the front piece together at the shoulder line to be able to do the neck width, neck depth, and also be able to draw the neck style line. So I'll go ahead to align this way. Then for the neck width, you determine how wide you want it depending on the particular style you are working with. So from the basic neck width, you could come inward by 1 or 1.5 or 2, depending on the star. So for this particular design, let's say we are working with 1.5. So I'm coming inward by 1.5. They also need to determine the neck depth, which will be picking from the neck point this way. So the neck depth of the back will be lower than that of the front, depending on the star. So for this particular design, I want to do a V-neck, which is low, so I could come down as much as 9 inches this way. So here's my neck depth for the back, and likewise, I'll do my neck depth for the front, depending on the particular design. So I could go for 6 inches. Remember, this is contouring. Whichever depth you are using, no matter how low it is, it will still stay glued to the body. So having done my neck with neck depth, I'll go ahead to draw the neck style line. So having drawn my neck style line, I will not cut my neck line yet until I do step 3. So step 3 is to locate the under bust line and draw a line across the pattern. So for this design, under bust line is 14 so i'll be picking it from the neck point and locate 14 this way then i square a line across the pattern this way so here is my under bust line we actually did not cut off the neckline here before locating this under bust line 
is because if we had cut it up to actually measure the under bust line might be difficult if you now go ahead to place your tape measure here you will not get the right location so your net the under bust line should be picked right from the net point like this then we'll move to step four step four is to use our bust radius to check our front neck depth whether it's properly positioned i've already done my neck depth this way but then i'll be using my bust radius to check what is the bust radius bust radius is the distance from your under bust to your apex from apex to the under bust is the same thing so i place my tape measure this way to cross check and here i'm having about three three and a half is slightly more than three and a half so this is about three five eight this way so that is my bust radius so how do i use to cross check my neck there? depending on the style you are working with from this apex now i'll be going upwards by the same value which is three five eight this way i'll just need to mark the point this point that we have marked will help us to know whether you really want your bust region area to show to reflect or not so marking your bust radius here tells you that at this point a little bit of it might still be showing but if you do not want it to show at all from this point you simply go upwards by one inch by this one inch you have secured it no part of your breast will be actually be showing so at this point cross checking it with this is still okay but if i wanted something low that will still reveal i could bring down my neck front neck depth this way and reshape so that is step four to use our bust radius to check our neck depth you know this is contouring you could want to use it to make your bust your wet which will be low but even as low as it is it will still stay glued fitted to your body so you could use this to check so that is step four step five now is go ahead and cut the neckline following the neck style line already drawn and separate the back piece from the front piece except if there's any common style line that you need to draw depending on the style you are doing if there's any other style line that you want to draw that is common to both you could go ahead to draw now before separating the two pieces separated back piece from front piece for the back piece we are partially drawn we do not contour for the back piece so at this point if you want any style line drawn, you can just go ahead to draw it on the back piece it's an armor princess it's a shoulder princess or you just want to leave it like this with your basic i mean that this way is good so we put this outside so to continue with the front piece where we are contouring now step six will be to transfer our side that to the style line so if you are doing a arm or princess bust here that means we're transferring this side that to the arm or and connecting to the apex if you are doing a shoulder princess bust here we're transferring this side that to the shoulder line this way to connect with the apex if yours is from the neck region, you'll be transferring this side that to the neckline and connecting it with the apex. So step six, once again, is to transfer this side that to the style line. So I'll go ahead now to draw my style line this way. Draw my style line this way. So you can actually pick any point, whether here or here, but just make sure it's at the middle of the arm pole. So having drawn my style line, I'll go ahead to cut through that line to touch the apex this way. And with that, I can now close up my side that, which has helped me to transfer. So we have transferred our side that now to the arm pole, which is the six to transfer side that to the style line. And this is arm pole princess. So I'll hold my side that down. Then step seven is 
to do the underboss tightening. Here is our underboss line. So we'll be tightening it, we'll be contouring at the underboss region. And to contour now, we need to measure what we already have at this underboss line. So I measured this way. I'm having about 9, 3, 8, 9 inches and 3, 8 up to the side seam line. And the round underboss measurement that we measured, I'm using for this, is actually 31. So placing my tape measure like so, then I'll be dividing it by 4, which is quarter. So quarter of 31 will be 7 and 3 quarter, which is here. So I'll mark this point, then I'll know what I have left. So what I'm having left now is about 1 3 quarter this way. So here is the excess. We have taken our round underbust measure, which is firm. Now at the underbust line, we'll be measuring one quarter of that, quarter of that rather. So this excess is what we need to take out, which is one three quarter. And to take it out, here is the middle of our dart leg. We'll be picking it from the middle of the dart leg and be sharing on both sides. But to share now, you could share equally good, but I always prefer to take it more to the side piece, not at the center. So if I'm to share now, I'm taking out one three quarter now. So if I'm to take out, I'll take more to this side. So I could actually take about the three quarter on this side. Then on this side, I'll be taking about one inch. And it's also possible to take one and quarter on this side while I'll take uh, about half here so but make sure it falls more to the side so this and i'll be cross checking the two measuring from that point here i'm still within my one three quarter so this is the excess that we need to take out and we're we'll taking it from the middle of the dark leg and sharing on both sides but we'll share it more to the side piece then we'll be connecting it with the waistline this way we are tightening here which is step seven to do our underboss tightening and this is what we are doing to tighten so i'll link it up this way at the waist i'll link it up this way with the waistline then i'll be connecting to the apex and here is curved not straight so i'll place it such that my curve is actually around my boss point this way nicely shaped and i'll do that for the other side as well this way so this is it my underboss tight to contour to take out excess now step eight is go back to the style line where your side that was transferred to and also contour there we transferred our side that part to the armor Step 8 is telling me go back to the style line where we transferred our side dart to and contour with a difference of half inch from that of the Honda bust. What I'm contouring here is one three quarter, and this is what guides you to knowing how many inches I will be contouring at this region. If this place is two inches, for example, now I'll be contouring at this point with one and a half. The difference between what you use here and what you have here, used here in terms of excess will be half an inch. Now in this case, I'm contouring with one three quarter. Definitely, I'm going to be contouring here with one and quarter. And to do this, I'm going to be sharing it even on both sides or take it more on this side or take everything on the side piece. So I'll come here and I'll be contouring with one and quarter this way. And I'll be linking this up with the apex. So I use my French curl to connect this way. Picking it from the apex and touching the line already, the point already marked like so. So here is the excess now that we need to take out which is contouring. Two words now, go ahead to cut out and panel. So we're cutting off the dart this way. And we'll panel, separating the center piece from the front piece. And also cutting off the contouring here. So 
this is what you have afterwards. Step now now is check for the alignment of the pattern pieces. Then check if the contouring that we did at when we transferred the side that to did not affect anything. So we need to first check for the alignment of the pattern this way by trying to sew to visualize what will have if sewn together and you can see there's shortage here and again the contouring that we did here will it affect anything like this was an excess on the armhole so contouring here we are taking out the excess it does not affect anything but what we just need to do will be to fill up so that there will be alignment while joining the center piece and the side pieces together so in this case now there's shortage so step 10 now is if any shortage if it affects anything you go ahead to fill up and filling up now you are done with the drafting of your pattern so we'll go ahead now in this case to fill up but what i usually do is when i cut out this way I would not cut it through, but if that is okay by you, all I'll just do will be to flip this back over. That might be confusing, so let's do it properly for you. So to fill up, I'll simply place another paper this way, and I'll be placing my pattern on it like so. And I'll go ahead following the star line already drawn the shape this way. Or I could actually use that of the center piece to check for the alignment like so to do the extension. So having gotten the inches that needed to be filled up, I'll need to blend the arm hole like this. Then we'll cut. So this is how to fill up. Then you can actually check again whether both pattern now aligns this way carefully. And we are good to go. So this is how to go about it. That's step 10 to fill up properly if there's any shortage. So those are the guidelines that you need to control. So following those guidelines, the steps, you will not lose out of anything. You will not lose sight of any important information. And if for a pleasure you are working with a shoulder, princess, the bustier, it's the same procedure. And in that case, by the time you contour at the shoulder line, of course, that means you will have taken out some inches this way, which will make the front shoulder line not to align. You are taking it like this of course there will be shorting and for this you need to also fill up and you were to be that of the neck by the time you take out the neck width will have reduced you need to also fill up so those are the 10 guidelines to achieving contouring when you have just a single seam line either from the arm or from the shoulder or from the neck point these single seam lines, bustiers, are the major ones. Even when you have those multiple seam lines, you will still have the major one. Is that coming from the hammer or from the shoulder or from the neck? Then you have those other ones supporting it for more detail and accentuation of the bust region. But you need to first understand this single seam line bustiers before you can move on to that. So for more insightful and application knowledge of the guidelines, you could actually join our online class, our paid online class for more application. We'll be talking about designs like this, how to apply this knowledge for your shoulder bustier, for the neck bustier, for even an asymmetric design, and for off shoulder and many more designs. Kindly contact the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen for the paid class. When you go through this class, you will know all that you need to go about any designs that comes your way. This is learning to fish by yourself, not asking someone to fish for you. When you go through the class, you have an in-depth knowledge and whatever design that you see, you can easily interpret and know the step-by-step -step 
guidelines to follow to achieving it. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and you may also look up our other videos that we have on the channel for more insightful knowledge for you to become a fashion professional. Until my next video, thank you for watching. Bye for now. La Perry College of Fashion, raising professionals.